this story is about Ito and Walita. And when we were little, they used to come over every week. And they would bring us pan dulce, Mexican cheese, um, jelly, uh, and snacks. And we would go crazy when they would come. And then sometimes Timo, he would call and say, Oh, Ito and Wilito are across the street. And we'd take off running. And then he'd be laughing, the little jerk. He uh, would play a game and they wouldn't be there. We would be so mad. When mom would go and get her hair done at Montgomery Wards, they would always leave us at their house. And this is probably where Gabby gets it. I would cry and cry and Wilita would just cuddle me and I'd lay in bed with her. Just wait and Ito would say, come and eat pancakes and he'd make pancakes. His were always the best tasting pancakes. Or on some days we'd ask him to make arroz con leche, which is the same recipe Auntie G makes and they it's still just as delicious. Ito would love wrestling and roller derby. So at night, I think it would be about 11 o'clock, the roller derby would start right after the news because there was only a few channels that you could watch on TV. And he would sit there at the edge of his seat and watch wrestling. And you would look at him and hear him. You'd think he was one of the wrestlers and it was hysterical. Uh, same thing with the roller derby. He would just follow them and move like in a circle, <laughs> but he's sitting in the chair. Um, and that was funny. Uh, I love staying over there all the time. When we leave Ito and Walitha's house, they had a room and it had a closet in it and he always kept it locked and he'd buy toys and candy and it was, the shelves would be full and we always got to pick out uh, either a candy or a toy to take home. But of course, you know, we'd give him that sad look and he could never say no. We usually got a candy and a toy, but they were dolls, cars, blocks, jacks, all kinds of stuff. So that was always fun. Walitha, she would love to sit in her chair and she'd pretend she's dancing and all she'd be doing is waving her hand and that would be her dancing and her and, and Ito would be in the other one the same thing. They were funny. When grandma would get mad at us, ooh, she'd be so mad and we'd call her, uh, grandma and uh, Ito and Walitha in Oakland and we'd call and tell on her and a few times before you knew it, they were driving over and visiting us because they didn't like to hear us cry. Ito would take Walitha for walks and they would always stop at 7-Eleven and he would buy him Hershey bars, buy her a Hershey bar and buy us can our favorite candy. And I think that's where we all got uh, the Hershey bar crave through Wilita and Ito. Nothing but great memories with them. I wish we were, everyone was able to uh, have time with them to share. But one thing I think you guys will probably understand, they loved hearing mariachis. And so every time we hear mariachis, you'll notice that we always get teary-eyed, which I'm getting teary-eyed now. But they're best memories ever. We were so lucky to have Ito and Wilita as grandparents. I wish every kid in this world could feel that. I'm sure this world would be such a different place today if they had loving grandparents like them. I hope that they taught me to be a good and loving grandma. I hope my grandkids will feel the same and talk about me when I'm gone like we talk about Ito and Walita. I love them so much. I feel like they're still here. Sometimes I don't feel well and I could feel the three of them, Ito, Walita, and Esther here.